All right, welcome back. So now we're going to start our discussion on the three primary trig ratios. And yeah, that just sounds scary, but relax, we'll talk about it and we will understand. So let's take any old right triangle. We get a hypotenuse. And let me give you an angle. I'll call this angle A. And this will be opposite to angle A. This will be adjacent to angle A. We learned all that in the previous video. And now you have to learn sine of angle A, cosine of angle A, and tangent of angle A. These are all ratios. And that means that they are a division question. And they are the division of the opposite side length divided by the hypotenuse length. And this one is adjacent side length divided by hypotenuse length. And this one is opposite side length divided by adjacent side length. Now, as I said, mathematicians are notoriously lazy. The proper name for this is sine, S-I-N-E. We shorten it to S-I-N. You do not pronounce this as sin. This is sine. Cosine is the proper way of saying cos. It's cosine. And tangent is the proper way of saying tan. I will accept tan. I will accept cos. I will accept sine. I will not accept sin. Sin happens in religion class. Go there if you want to talk about it. Now these. This is also going to be shortened. There's no way a mathematician is going to write all this. So they're going to write ope over hype. Opposite over hypotenuse. Adj over hype. Adjacent over hypotenuse. And ope over height. Ope, ope over adj. Sorry. So let me do that nicer. So it's going to be sine of A equals opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine of A equals adjacent over hypotenuse. And tangent of A equals opposite over adjacent. You need to memorize these. You need to know these inside out. The kids in class got drilled on it, and they started to memorize it, and we came up with a shortcut to memorize it. It's called so ka toa and it's a memory aid. And the memory aid looks like this. It's divided into three parts. There's the so part, which stands for sine, a equals opposite over hypotenuse. Do you see it? Sine opposite hypotenuse. Cosine A equals adjacent over hypotenuse. Do you see it? C-A-H. And tangent of A equals opposite over adjacent. Now, I'm using sine A, cosine A, tangent A all through the place here. You do realize that if I give you a triangle and I name it theta, then instead of sine A, it'll be sine theta equals opposite over hypotenuse. And if I name it phi, then it would be cosine of phi equals adjacent over hypotenuse. And if I named it x, then it would be, this one could also be sine x. It doesn't matter what I name this angle, okay? The ratio still stays the same for that angle. Opposite, adjacent, hypotenuse. Okay, um, boom, boom, boom. Uh, I think we go to our lesson, and we'll be right back.